Have you ever um, taken back something from an ex-lover or ex-wife or anyone that you gave them as a gift? Money, phone. Ex-wife? Ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whatever. Uh, if I gave Like if you gave them something and you want it back because they broke your heart. They did something terrible. Maybe they broke up with you. They want to be with you anymore. No. No? No. Okay, do you want to shout your, um, your business out? Uh, this is a YouTube page. I this is a YouTube page. Uh, YouTube page. Yeah. Because uh, I don't want to go. Uh, I don't want to. On face on your. Okay. So you can just talk and tell them about your little. I can show them the stuff, but I won't show them your face. Oh, the their product. Yeah, your product. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So talk about and where you're located, and um, they want to come out. They can come down and get some stuff. You don't take cards, do you? Uh, do you? Okay, so I'll buy something when I'm done. Just shout your um, business out. I can. What I'll do is, sh you can talk, and I'll just show you um, your stuff. All right. You can come behind the camera, so you can definitely show I'm not talking. Okay, okay. I'm not putting you on camera. Uh, no you can come around here. Go okay, ahead. Okay. This is a, a perfume oil. That's I'm um, doing a business come, come. for one and one twenty fifth Street. And uh, oil stuff, African black soap, you know, cocoa butter, and uh, mango butter, and uh, oil, and incense. And, uh, they have the famous black, black soap over there, guys. Yeah, this is uh, African black soap right here. This oh, this is a real African black soap, guys. Exactly. For your skin. Good for your skin. Yeah. Okay. Make your skin smooth, nice. Okay. Also, this oil make it smell good. It smells know? good, yes, yes, yes. And the incense too. You yeah. can tell them about the incense. This incense is by aluminum. So the incense is come kind of different of flavor, you know. So a good smell, you know. You light it one, make all the house smell good. You know? Okay. So. And you're located on 125th Street my between. My is 125th Street between Seven and Lenox Avenue. A 132 West 125th Street. That's okay. The address, exactly. I'm right. Cross the street from H&M. Cross the street from H&M. Yeah. Okay, so, so there you have it. Any customer they look for me, you mm -hmm. can come. So you see me, so no problem. Okay, no they problem. Thank you very much. I'm just going to shut it off here. So So guys, that last gentleman, he said he would not take it back. But anyway, because I stopped him from doing his business, I gave him a little, um, I actually purchased something from him. I'll show you, I'm not lying. So I bought this, I bought this, and I bought a black soap. Support small business. Hello. Gosh, I have nobody on my side. Tomorrow we're having the gathering of faith and miracle right there at the Magic Johnson. Okay. Um, 10 a.m. Okay, thank you. You'll be able to come? I probably can. You can? Yeah. Okay, so let me give you a band. So you only can come in with the band? Huh? You only can come in with a band. Huh? You can only come in with a band. No, but the ones that we that we invite and they say yes, we we'll okay. give them the band. Okay. What's your name? Ivan. Y V O N N E. And your phone number? For so tomorrow, if at you get right there at the Magic Johnson. Oh, in, on, inside yes. the Magic Johnson? Uh huh. You guys have a church in there? No, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Our church is there on uh, 125 in Harlem. Mm -hmm. But on Sunday, because it's such a big crowd, big crowd. Okay. We, we have we we are getting a cathedral. The cathedral, I think, is on 120. Oh, happy day.
have shoelaces over there. Probably do. You work here? Yes. Do you guys sell shoelaces? Shoelaces, shoelaces yeah. Yeah. black ones. Yeah. Jazz, we have lace, laces? Uh, black laces? Black or white? Black. I'll show you what I have. Sure. So guys, I'm on the train right now. So guys, I'm on the train now. Well, now. So guys, I'm on the train right now and I'm heading home. But I do want to speak to you before I, uh, I'm not going to end this vlog right now because I'm really not satisfied with my, the people that I interviewed. I'm not satisfied, satisfied with their answers. I think they're, there must be a little white right there. Because, um, you know, some people are saying that, you know, D is wrong for talking about what she gave to this person. I don't think she's wrong. This is a way of her getting out her anger, her, um, her, her grievances, you know. This is a way of her to, you know, get it off her chest. So I don't fault this young lady for talking about what she gave this guy, you know. 16,000 US dollars, that's a lot to give one person within a short space of time. So I am on her side and um, you know, I normally, I do look, I always look at things from two perspectives. If, if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. And I don't see anything wrong with her. I have to watch her video over again to see if she didn't want her thing to happen. I know JB said he's not giving back anything. But he said, you know, this is his payment for not getting paid for all those months. That's between them. But I don't see anything with her talking about it. You know, letting everybody know. She's hurt. So you guys have to understand where she's coming from. I know some of you out there have been in her position. And you're not saying it for whatever reason. Because people will look down on you. They say that you paid for love and all these things. So you're not saying it right now. And of course, you know, I've been in her position. I've been in her position maybe one, once. So I know how she feels. So baby girl, I'm on your side. perspective on that and oh and she said that um she told him that when he gets his money back from you when he gets paid from youtube he should pay her back i think that's fair it's not like um not like what we were thinking that she was heartbroken and she wants her stuff back like in a ramble but it was sort of a business deal. I mean, I think that makes sense. I don't think that she's lying about that. I think that makes sense. And um, maybe those people that said it was 16,000, maybe they heard it on another live or something. I can't really tell you the real figures. 
but according to her she spent a lot of money on him and his family and their business so she wants it back after that they they broke up but um of course she's going to want it back after they broke up because that that is that was the deal you know you pay me once you start getting paid from youtube she gave him twenty thousand subscribers which um when she announced the broke up two thousand of her subscribers took their subscription subscription back from jb but you know in no time he will i think he will pick it up because he is um he seems like a likable person he's a dancer he's a singer and he takes great photos so he will get it back and i, I really think that he should consider giving given the money that he gave to her back her him i think he should consider giving the money back i really do you know if it's going to um continuously cause a heartache i think he should return the money the reason why she said that they you know it started getting a strain on it started becoming a strain on the relationship because he was seeing her as being controlling and most men in that situ situation who are taken, taken, taken from a woman, they would think that, you know, okay, I'm getting this, I'm getting that, and she's telling me to do this, 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 that, and you don't want to do those things. You don't want to listen to that woman, right? So I can see why the relationship got a little bit rocky, right? Her being controlling, as he says, she she is controlling and him being a taker you know and i don't know if i mentioned that he gave his job up to become a youtuber but the thing about it he is a youtuber and he automatically got 20,000 subscribers eventually she actually gave him a gold mine he can earn as much as he puts into this youtube channel it's only upwards for him it cannot be downwards so i really think that jb should consider returning the money <coughs> no doubt about that no doubt about that he got a whole gold gold mine to sit on a whole gold mine Twenty thousand subscribers just like that yeah return the money Okay, guys, if you made it to this point in the video, don't forget to please comment down below and let me know if you were in a relationship, would you return, would you um, ask for your things back? Or if you see that your spouse or your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend needed help, would you, um, and you gave them some type of assistance, would you ask for your things back? Would you ask for the money back? Would you ask for your items back? You know, you heard from some of the um, people on the street, they said that they wouldn't. But I think maybe the men, they probably wouldn't. But the ladies, yeah, I think about two ladies I asked that question and they said no. I don't believe that. How about you? I do not believe that. I do not believe that. I want to hear what you guys would do in the comment down below. Let me know. But I am on D side. I will, I mean, I definitely, um, I listened to D's story and I was saying in my head, hmm, I wonder what would be JB's story. And I listened to JB's story. Number one, JB was talking so low, like, you know, I couldn't even hardly hear him. But whatever he said, you know, um, I just think that he should be a, he should be a man and return return the money she gave you a gold mine you're going to sit on it for the rest of your life possibly maybe maybe you know so give her the money back come on we need our money back <laughs>